Greetings, my fellow captain. Captain Thanik at your service. Allow me to be the first to welcome you aboard my humble vessel, the deck of many things. <laughs> the deck of many things, on account of the many things below the deck. <laughs> Very clever, I think you'll agree. Below you will find merchants from every corner of Aeora, each vending an assortment of wares both rare and unusual. Lest you think us easy marks, know that we have bested pirates and monsters of every sea. Cross us, and we'll be adding your shiniest bits and pieces to our inventory, and your bodies to Andra. <laughs> but let it not come to that. Please come below, my new friends, and explore what the deck offers. and welcome, Aimiko. Might I interest you in a new cloak? Perhaps gloves of the finest cut? A belt interwoven with incantations? Oh, it shows then. I'm afraid I'm still rather new to this. The slightest squall leaves me green for days. My ancestors, they would laugh me out the door. Back in Velia, I apprenticed to the famed weaver, Selana Mezquinetra. She sent me to accompany a rather important shipment to the Republics. It was to be a grand adventure. Instead, the ship foundered, and only the grace of Andra and the sudden appearance of the deck spared me a sodden grave. That was two years ago, I think. You apprentice to Solana? Most impressive. I've only ever seen sketches of her work. I'll pass along the compliment, Della, provided I ever see her again. You mean, like, where it came from? Afraid not, friend. I rather suspect Andra herself of birthing it from the depths to fish out the few things she'd rather not see lost to the sea. I will fetch my chalk. Finding everything to your liking, Captain. <laughs> Isn't it, though? And older than any of us aboard to boot. So Tara keeps the old tub looking like new, more or less. You might have noticed the Anguithan imagery in the beams, or the copper wiring. I suspect the deck, the hull at least, dates back to that ancient fabled empire. Not that I'd make any grand claims about its import. Probably just an old merchant craft lucky enough to survive whatever brought Ingwith low. <laughs> Not just the decks, 
but the hull and the masts too. I came to Adir a century gone by now and boarded the deck as a wee lad. A stowaway even. <laughs> Might have thrown me overboard, the old captain, were it not for the shine. Few sailors go seeking Andrasaya. It was the first time my being godlike had caused me aught but suffering. I don't doubt you've had your own share of troubles by them. Aye, I sell the finest enchanted objects in the dead fire. Will cost you a shilling or sixty, but quality comes at a price. Nothing but the best aboard the deck. Oh, yes. Greetings. I assume Thenic explained our little floating trading floor, so I'll cut through the fat. I'm Sautara, purveyor of fine armors and weapons, whether for kith or ship. What are you in the market for? <laughs> he is, isn't he? Looks like a junk now, but, uh, that's mostly my doing. Underneath the decades of patches and filth, there's some truly strange shit. Copper, Audra, Adiran runes, Valian pipes. Best guess is that he came out of old Angwith, modified over the millennia by whoever crewed him. I wanted to rename him the Junky Junk of Junk, but, uh, Fennec wouldn't have it. Trust me on that. I know him inside and out. <laughs> A question I ask myself often. The simple version is that the deck dropped Anchor and Rawatai looking for a blacksmith. I was a blacksmith looking to get out of Rawatai. Didn't know a Bolin from a Baleen at the time, but you learn fast at sea or you sink. Hmm. Considerably more complicated and entirely none of your business. Peruse at your pleasure. Oh, I'll give her a bad rap. How do you know if these things want you to pet them?
put this to good use. Oh, wait. 